What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to the watchway here of Aberystwyth with Town. So, I see my land yet again, this time at home. I think that presents a slight advantage for us anyway in comparison to Milan. So they're going to play the narrow formation again, they 4-1-2-1-2, uh, four, one, two, one, two, four, four, yeah, 4-1-2-1-2, four, 4-4-2 two, one, two, four, four, two, diamond, I guess you could say it to some extent. Whatever you want to perceive that, 4-1-2-1-2. Four, one, two, one, two. So... I'm not going to go. I'm not going to tell them to play wide this time. I'm just going to let them go out there because they know the tactic how it is, and I haven't prepared them to, you know, to change it in any other way. So I'm going to let them go out there and play the game from my own player's point of view, and maybe we'll see a better performance this time. So 1,002 people here, and as we know, it's our maximum capacity at the stadium. I actually haven't sorted the team out, so quickly rotate everyone around because you know, of stuff. You go there, right midfielder, it is Armstrong. You go on the bench. Will Evan starts, you swap with you, with Gunther, bench. Um, who do I normally play on the bench? It's Bird, Bird, bench. I normally play or put Allen on the bench. Centre backs are going to be Shawcross and Carwin Drake. I should have done this beforehand. Apologies. This is my fault. We have Kevin Crawford. Shouldn't be playing. It should be Scott Drake. And apart from that, is the first team. That is the first team on top of my head. Bench needs to have Billy Alessandro on it. And apart from that, the bench is the strongest bench we can field. So. There you go, this is the team, exactly the same team that fielded in the last match that lost to AC Milan. So, so we can turn things around this time. So let's continue into the match. So there you go, exact same 4-4-2, I believe the exact same players as well. Uh, although, again, I couldn't really quote you on that. Because I don't really know the team, I didn't really remember the team. So, yeah, let's get this into this one. They all listen keep me, they all listen deeply. Hopefully they all get inspired by that. And actually put in a good performance on the pitch. So there you go, Armstrong straight away beating a few AC Milan players. That's gonna always improve the nerves. And we get a free kick as well in the first minute. Maybe we could actually create a, ver a goal very early on. Hunter whips his one in. Almost went straight through in goal. The AC Milan defender coming in. Could have caught the keeper out. But it didn't. He managed to, you know... To keep himself on his feet is Smith and with a decent opportunity there and straight away we've had a few half chances. We've had a few half chances. Okay, we only won theoretically, but that was a decent long shot. And again we're on the attack straight away is Day Lewis to Smitham. Smitham a little bit of space goes for another long shot. This time it's blocked, however. And Fernandez actually being brought down and maybe AC Milan will create a counter attack from this. The green shirts are flooding back. We've held them up, but now we need to try and get the ball off them. Smitham gives away a free kick. Maybe trying to make up for the long shot mistake. You could really say that almost led to that opportunity. We've started off really well. 60% of the ball. We've had all the opportunities. Still with 60% of the ball as well at, at the 15th minute. So looking like another decent home performance. But we won't know that until we finally get the goal who, or whoever scores first. And it will give us a real indication as oh, side netting. Cornell looked like he just fell over in a way in the goal. It, just, it didn't dive. He just sort of went down and tried to make himself as big as possible. Poor set piece from Hunter. And Ibsen Milan again trying to attack down that wing. They don't have wide players. So they continue to try and spread the play though. Add a little bit of width to it. Which doesn't really make sense. We've got the ball back now. Van der Midger. Futa Mitrovic. Oh. Just wide of the post. Click opportunity wasted for AC Milan. And. Whew. It's an opportunity there. We have the ball. But we need to do something with it. Come on. Get a good opportunity here. Hunter, poor pass, giving away the ball yet again. We've got a lot of people forward. And Shawcross with a very good challenge there. Earning the ball back for us is Nathan Green. Playing the ball around out on the left. Hunter almost misses that sliding tackle. He would have been away and through if he had. I mean, he the body missed it. He couldn't get the ball away from it. Patanga. Ooh, come on. 60% of the ball yet to really trouble the keeper on the other team. I'm strong away. Oh. Another opportunity. Come on. Hunter with this corner. So you can find a green shirt. Almost gets that one in instead. Need to do better with the corners when we get them. Not be wasting them like that. 
We have two good centre-backs that have the ability to win aerial challenges. We need to actually find them when we get them set pieces, when we get them corner opportunities. Here's Hunter with a shooting range. Just over the crossbar, another wasted opportunity from Hunter from a set piece. Everyone's just looking nervous. Apart from that, two people looking motivated, the rest looking composed. It's going well. Not in terms of click opportunities and stuff, because AC Milan theoretically could be 1-0 up. But it's going well enough. Hunter with another corner, trying to find Smith, and he does! I don't know what happened there, because it looked like the keeper actually grabbed it, but Smithen has given us a 1-0 lead against AC Milan. Hunter with a corner in. Too close to the keeper, in my opinion, but somehow Smithen rose above everyone. The keeper should have done better. Patanga, Patanga, whatever that guy's name is, Patanga, I'm going to call him that. Should have got the he header as well. Poor defensive display by AC Milan, and we've got the lead from a corner, and 1-0 up. At half time we go in. Fantastic so far. Home and away seems to be a big difference for us. At home, we're playing very well against these bigger teams. Did very well against Bayern Munich. We're doing very well now. The 1-0 scoreline doesn't reflect our dominance, I don't feel. Definitely a possession. The Smith them. Lucky to get away without a card there. Maybe the start of the second half, but you can still get booked. Evans is looking nervous. May think to bring him off around now. We'll see how it goes for another few minutes. And then we'll consider taking Evans off. Attack the lovely challenge by Armstrong there. So just building up an attack down the left. Right, so we're going to take Evans off. I think it's time. He's looking nervous. He hasn't really, you know, grown out of that nervousness. He's not sort of developed it with, as the game has. So take him off. Apart from that, everyone else can stay on. Armstrong may only have a 6.8, but that's... I've seen, I've seen good things from him. So far, I've seen things I'm happy with. Offside from AC Milan. Another opportunity of theirs that has been ruled out. Alright, so make make another attacking change. Just, this seems quite aggressive from... Even from my own point of view, it seems quite aggressive. But if, you, if our strikers aren't playing well, might as well make attacking changes. Defensively, we're holding up well enough. I don't really see anything else to change apart from the front two. At least then we could maybe get a, a few decent opportunities under our belt. Because really, since this second half has started, we, have, we haven't had an attack. It's all been AC Milan, and really all of AC Milan's chances have been pretty poor half chances. And Armstrong there! Fantastic volley from a header on from Win James, and unlucky to not take, not get another goal. Another corner. Carl and Drake unable to win that one, though. Another throw in deep in their half. Armstrong back to Fernandez. Beautiful play on the right. Oh, Day Lewis playing this one to Win James. And Win James gives us a two goal lead against AC Milan with only nine minutes left. I would say that would wrap up the game. I would say that is all three points. One for us here. Day Lewis with a good header. Win James being free in that area. I don't know how that's happened. It's poor defensive display by AC Milan to allow James to have that much space in the box. Doesn't matter though because he found the back of the net. Two nil for us. And really that should be. Like I said, the game wrapped up, and I think it is. Two minutes of injury time remaining. And I don't really see AC Milan scoring two goals in that time. I mean, there is it's a possibility, yes, but I don't really see it in that time. Corner here, let's see if we can keep a clean sheet. That would be beautiful. And actually, because of the Champions League go, um, rules, you know, the, the game where, you, you know, who finishes top of the group or who finishes second or whatever. You know, they go games against the games where they played each other. We would theoretically have that advantage over AC Milan, I think. I'm not too sure. Because we've scored two goals at home, they scored one goal at home. We should have, you know, if you want to consider it a two-legged game, we'd go through because we've scored more. So, seconds remain now in this game. Armstrong down the right. Time waste if you want. No, we get a throw in, but that should be game over. The referee should blow the whistle right now. And as he does, 2-0 we've beaten AC Milan at Park Avenue. Home form is definitely benefiting us massively in the Champions League group stages this season. Shaquille Hunter with his first man-to-match -match performance, I think. Either way, I don't really know if it is, but either way, fantastic performance today. 8.9 average match rating. Defensively was sound. Pretty much everyone was sound. Attacking 2 let me down in comparison. But... Doesn't matter, we scored two goals, people did come on, uh, well, Day Lewis, I'm oh, not Day Lewis, sorry, Win James came on and scored, Nick Smith and scored, doesn't matter who gets it, end of the day, three points in the Champions League is three points, so, it puts us top of the group, um, so what was the other game, the other game must have been a draw between Bayern and Zenit, it is, so, 
Actually, is that us through? No, 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 there's four points. Wait, is that us through? That is us with knockout round competition this season. We are through to a knockout round. Uh, let me leave the match. Let me just see what they say. Because I know mathematically we're not automatically through yet. But if we get one more draw, we could be. So let's see what it says. It doesn't say anything. We get that money. The, the AC Milan manager actually spoke out to me beforehand and said, you know, question the size of the club. <laughs> Look at that. I think it was a bit fluky, to be honest. Nine times out of ten, we would win. Nobody bats an eyelid because the bigger team winning isn't the story. Anyone can beat anyone else on their day. And to say that, and uh, we walk away with a two-goal victory against them. And we've had way more of the ball than them. And evenly matched on terms of shots and shots on target. That's actually fact. We have more shots on target than them. How we can say that? I don't. I don't know what what game he was watching. But it definitely wasn't the right one. So we have Zenit next. So really, Zenit are the whipping boys of the group. And if we go to the group stage, if I can just find one that will just click me to the group, there it is. So if we look at this, Zenit have yet to win a game. They've drawn two. They've conceded ten. We've beaten AC Milan and Bayern Munich at home. We now have Zenit at home. I would say we're through. Being very, very arrogant, I would say we're through. But either way, it doesn't make a difference. Because even if Zenit win their next two games, that would put them up to seven. No, not seven, sorry. Eight points. And then that is one less than us. So either way, Zenit cannot finish higher than fourth. Like, say if everyone else loses and whatever. Yeah, basically we're, we're through to the Europa League knockout stages right now. We are through. And that's an incredible achievement considering... Beyond this group stage, we had not won a game in a group stage, the Europa League or the Champions League. And right now, we look like we could very easily qualify top. Because if we beat Zenit, no matter what the get result is against AC Milan and Bayern Munich, we finish top of the group. Or we, we're through, I think. Yeah, we finish top of the group, yeah. No matter what the result is between Bayern Munich and AC Milan, we would finish top of the group. I think. You know what? It does make a difference. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is true, yeah, but whatever. So, I've rambled a little bit. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed the episode, guys. If you did, make sure you give it a like. And until next time, peace out.